Imagine this, you're hovering a meter above the event horizon of a black hole in your futuristic spaceship. You're curious, what happens if you take a rod made of adamantium and just dip it into the event horizon? Could you pull it back out if you accelerate hard enough? So you test the idea, but as you lower the adamantium rod, it begins to stretch until eventually it breaks, before it reaches the event horizon. Now let me tell you why. First, we're assuming that your spaceship is indestructible, or that you were much further away from the black hole than a meter. Otherwise, the fate that befell the adamantium rod would have befallen you. Now to compute the acceleration required to stay above the event horizon, we could use the machinery of general relativity to determine proper acceleration. Or we can use a heuristic to get the same answer. Let's do the latter. So roughly, the difference between Newtonian gravity and Einsteinian gravity is that space curves for Einstein, but not for Newton. One can actually view Newtonian gravity as just the curvature of time. In particular, near a black hole, distances are stretched. The closer you get to the event horizon, the bigger distances seem. Until, at the event horizon, distances get stretched by an infinite amount, which explains why you can't escape. You'd have to travel an infinite amount of distance in a finite time. Now, the amount that distances get stretched is given by this formula, which notably goes to infinity when you're at the event horizon. So heuristically, we can find the acceleration required to hover at a fixed distance above the event horizon by multiplying what the acceleration would be for Newtonian gravity by the stretching factor. This works because acceleration is distance divided by time squared, so we can just replace distance by the stretched distance. So now, we see that the acceleration required to hover at a fixed height above the event horizon actually goes to infinity as you get closer to the event horizon, because the stretching factor does. This is in contrast with Newtonian gravity, where the acceleration is always finite if you're not exactly at the center. So what about that adamantium rod? Well, as you dip it lower and lower, in order for the bottom part to not fall in, more and more acceleration is required there. However, your spacecraft isn't providing that acceleration, since your spacecraft isn't as low as the rod. If it were, it would leave the vicinity of the black hole. So in order for the bottom to not fall in, extra force is needed, and that can only come from the tensile strength of the rod. The bonds in the material apply a counterforce to the tendency of the rod to stretch. But every material has a finite tensile strength. Eventually, as the rod gets close enough to the event horizon, the combined strength of the rod's molecular bonds and the acceleration you're providing from your spacecraft won't be enough, because the necessary force goes to infinity. And so the rod stretches and stretches until, eventually, it snaps. And this happens before the rod ever touches the event horizon. Now just to clear up any questions anyone might have, this only happens because you're trying to hover above the event horizon. If you were falling into a sufficiently large black hole, you'd never notice any stretching on you at all.